Indoor mask orders are in effect in several metro area counties, but not all of the orders are the same. CBS 4's Rick Salinger live tonight in Broomfield. Rick, county health experts seem to be taking different approaches to these mask mandates. Well, Jim, Broomfield has adopted a mask mandate that takes effect December 1st. But some might see it as an opportunity and others might look at it as a risk. It allows you to go shopping at places like Flatirons Crossing without a mask. Welcome to Broomfield where you can shop indoors without wearing a mask. It's one of the few places in the Denver metro area. Are you going to wear a mask in here? Um, if they have any offered, yeah. I just don't have any in my car. He was going shopping at Flatirons Mall in Broomfield, where it was packed for Black Friday. No mask required here, and a great many shoppers did not wear them. So most of the people in the mall are not putting their masks on, but we are from the Boulder. So uh, we heard that uh, there's a new, new variant coming in Africa, so we, uh, we thought it would be much better to be careful and we put our masks on. Broomfield does have a mask mandate, but while businesses are not required to have their patrons wear masks, it does apply to government buildings where masks or proof of vaccination are required. This crowded mall was filled with maskless people. Given that they don't require the mask here, do you feel a little less safe? Yeah, I feel a little less safe because uh, it may attack. So, like, it, it would be more better if you wear a mask. The city and county of Broomfield points to high vaccination rates and low hospitalization as the reason for their policy. So here, no mask is required in businesses. While across the street in Adams County, the mask mandate is in effect. Broomfield insists it is paying attention to the science and can change the mandate if necessary. Businesses are being encouraged to tell people to wear masks. Live in Broomfield, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First. Thanks, Rick.